Hey what's up guys, this is Eric with Painting Business Pro and in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to start your painting business from scratch. Now that's what I'm going to show you how, to, how I did because that's actually exactly how I started my painting business was from scratch. I had no money, um, I basically like desperately needed money, it was uh, you know going into winter time and I just I needed money really fast and really easy and um, I needed a lot of it so I started my painting business. Uh, step one register your business and you know license so in Colorado I'm fortunate I don't actually need a license in Colorado to operate a residential painting company you'll have to check in your individual state on licensing I know some states are a real pain in the butt as far as licensing go registering your business costs fifty dollars and takes about five minutes go to Secretary of State um, website you can just google it Secretary of State register my business and you'll find it, it costs fifty bucks to do that and it will take you more than ten minutes um, I've had some people ask me the question about licensing um, do I need a license? What happens if I don't have a license? Um, basically, you can do anything you want in the world, but there's consequences for things because there are rules. So you don't need a license, but there are consequences to not having a license. And every state is going to differ on what those consequences are. So let's just say, for example, you know, um, you could get fined five thousand dollars for not having a license. Um, you know, okay, cool. Well, now you know. Like, if you want to go and operate your business without a license. You could, if you get caught, you're going to pay five thousand dollars. So just be ready for that. And also, there's going to be customers who don't book with you because you don't have a license. So be ready for that. Um, you know, so that's those are like a couple of big things that have to do with you know getting a license. Those are two big consequences. So it's definitely worth getting a license. And if you don't want to let, if you don't get a license or don't want to worry about getting a license, know that you're risking the consequences. Cool. Step two. So again, this should be really quick. Step two is basic materials. So. Uh, flyers, contracts, and a basic client manual. So I like to put together a little folder that's just like, hey, about me, about the company, about our process, this and that. Um, a basic flyer to hand out door to door, and a contract to write up my estimate on. Um, by the way, uh, this entire system, um, exactly step by step, every little bit of it is included in my course at the website listed below at paintingbusinesspro.com. You can actually get um, templates for the flyer, for the contract, for the client manual, show you how to register the business, um, marketing. We'll actually walk through every little part of this. I actually walk you through exactly what to say, the scripts, give you all the materials and everything. So. Um, just wanted to make note of that because I know I'm not going into a lot of details on these things in this video. I just want to show you the outline. All the details are in the in the course there. So, step one, register. Step two, basic materials. Put those together. Step three is marketing. So now you're ready. Like once you got registered and you got materials, which shouldn't cost you more than fifty bucks and probably a hundred bucks. So you're like one fifty. Now you start marketing. So there's two ways to market. You can go door to door. And, you know, that's what I did. I just went door to door and here's what I say. I knock on the door, say, hey, how's it going? I'm Eric, I'm with Foothills Painting. I noticed you had some peeling paint up here, so I just want to give you a free estimate. And then they say, okay, and I take down their information. I say, I'll call them in a couple days. So that's door to door marketing. I go into a lot more detail about that in the course. And then buying leads. Um, you can buy leads from, uh, from our company that we started, which is Painter Choice. Um, so that's Painter choice.com or paintingleads.com. Um, we sell really good painting leads, but we're not all over the country yet, so you may not be able to get leads from us yet. Um, and then you also can use homeadvisor.com. Um, but check out my marketing videos. I talk about different ways to market there. So now we're step three. So now we got leads coming in, whether it's from door to door from buying leads, you have customers who want estimates coming to you. Step four, schedule the estimates. So you call them up and set up the estimate. Again, we have an initial phone call script that we use to set up really good estimates. Uh, step five, do the estimates. So it's as simple as showing up, um, talking to the people about what they want, what's important to them, you know, working up different options for them, coming up with the price, writing up on the contract and reviewing it with them. Um, once you've done a few estimates, you'll book your first job. Um, when you book a job, you take a 25% deposit. So our average job size this year is probably 3,400. So when we take a deposit, we're taking like $850 deposit. That's your profit. So that's inst instantly like in your pocket. You don't need to spend that on anything else. That $800, $50 deposit pays for your marketing, your registration, and puts the first 600, 700 bucks in your pocket. Awesome. So now you're in business. So the next thing you do, so now you've got a job to do, you've got a deposit. You go hire a, co a contractor. Use Craigslist. We've got scripted ads and scripted interview process, scripted phone calls, everything, everything about this we've got scripted out. You go hire a subcontractor to paint that house for you for 50% of what you just booked it for. When they paint that house for 
you collect 75% remaining from the customer, you make another 25%. So you'll make the 850 when you book it, you make the 850 when you produce it, then you just repeat the cycle. And then, how do you grow the business? Repeat the cycle as, as many times as you can in a week until you don't have any more time. And then you start hiring people to do other things for you so you have more time to do more sales and generate more money. So that's how you start a business on a shoestring budget. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear about them below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit the red button below or subscribe right here. Um, and then also, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I really love hearing from you guys. It really helps me craft better videos. So I'd love your feedback to make better videos. That's all I've got for today. I'm out. Thanks.